The Department of Justice has a duty to enforce our nation's laws, including our immigration laws. Those laws require us to promptly remove aliens when they are convicted or detained of certain crimes. The vast majority of American people support this common sense requirement. According to one recent poll, 80% of Americans believe that cities that make arrest, that arrest illegal immigrants for crimes should be required to turn them over to immigration authorities. Unfortunately, some states and cities have adopted policies designed to frustrate this enforcement of immigration laws. This includes refusing to detain known felons under federal detainer request or otherwise failing to comply with these laws. For example, the Department of Homeland Security recently issued a report showing that in a single week uh, there were more than 200 instances of jurisdictions refusing to honor ICE detainer request with respect to individuals charged or convicted of a serious crime. These, the charges and convictions against these aliens include drug trafficking, hit and run, rape, sex offenses against a child, and even murder. Such policies cannot continue. They make our nation less safe by putting dangerous criminals back on the streets. We all remember the tragic case of Kate Steinle, the 32-year-old woman who was shot and killed two years ago in San Francisco as she walked along a pier with her father. The shooter, Francisco Sanchez, was an illegal immigrant who had already been deported five times and had seven felony convictions. Just 11 weeks before the shooting, San Francisco had released Sanchez from its custody even though Immigrations and Customs Enforcement Officers had filed a, re a detainer requesting that he be held in custody until immigration authorities could pick him up for removal. Even worse, Sanchez admitted the only reason he came to San Francisco was because it was a sanctuary city. A similar story unfolded just last week whenever Valles, an illegal immigrant and a Mexican national, was charged with murder and robbery of a man at a light rail station. Valles was released from a Denver jail in late December, despite the fact that ICE had lodged a detainer for his removal. The American people are not happy with these results. They know that when cities and states refuse to help enforce immigration laws, our nation is less safe. Failure to deport aliens who are convicted of criminal offenses puts whole communities at risk especially immigrant communities in the very sanctuary jurisdictions that seek to protect the perpetrators. DUIs, assaults, burglaries, drug crimes, gang rapes, crimes against children and murderers. Countless Americans would be alive today and countless loved ones would not be grieving today if these policies of sanctuary cities were ended. Not only do these policies endanger lives of every American, just last May, the Department of Justice Inspector General found that these policies also violate federal law. The President has rightly said disregard, disregard for law must end. In his executive order, he stated that it is the policy of the executive branch to ensure that states and cities comply with all federal laws, including all immigration laws. Today, I'm urging states and local jurisdictions to comply with these federal laws, including 8 U.S.C. Section 1373. Moreover, the Department of Justice will require that jurisdictions seeking or applying for Department of Justice grants to certify compliance with 1373 as a condition of receiving those awards. This policy is entirely consistent with the Department of Justice's Office of Justice Programs guidance that was issued just last summer under the previous administration. This guidance requires state and local jurisdictions to comply and certify compliance with Section 1373 in order to be eligible for OJP grants. It also made clear that failure to remedy violations could result in withholding grants termination of grants, 
and disbarment or ineligibility for future grants. The Department of Justice will also take all lawful steps to claw back any funds awarded to a ju jurisdiction that willfully violates 1373. In the current fiscal year, Department of Justice's Office of Justice Programs and Community-Oriented Policing Services anticipates awarding more than $4.1 billion in grants. I strongly urge our nation's states and cities and counties to consider carefully the harm they are doing to their citizens by refusing to enforce our immigration laws and to rethink these policies. Such policies make their cities and states less safe. Public safety, as well as national security, are at stake and put them at risk of losing federal dollars. The American people want and deserve a lawful system of immigration that keeps us safe and one that serves the national interest. This ex expectation is reasonable, just, and our government has the duty to meet it, and we will meet it. Thank you.